Hi folks, this is Ross at Flow Sites. I just wanted to quickly give an update on a recent issue which uh, a lot of users have been experiencing problems with blank screens when logging in to their admin, to their dashboard in the back of WordPress. So uh, without um, causing too many issues depending on when your actual WordPress uh, version or your site was created or developed or which theme you may be using, um, this plugin allows you to protect your admin and it is a good prevention against this issue. Um, most hosting companies also are aware of this issue, so if um, until we know the full solution, this is a good get by. Uh, but if you have the issue, please notify ourselves or be in touch with your hosting company, company directly that may have a solution available for you depending on your hosting provider. So here are just a few details in terms of what we actually had found out about in, in the last recent period. Um, and uh, it's something which has recently just hit about vulnerabilities and attacks in login forms um, for having sections whereby then you'll have a forbidden or a 406 or a 404 error page as such and coming in. This is just one hosting company within the UK that uh, has given some documentation which Google has recently shown as we've tried to find some details on this which is still quite scarce. In terms of actually your backend, I just wanted to quickly go through and uh, showcase how you can go into your WordPress and then actually uh, install this plugin so that it, it'll be easier for you. So with this, uh, we'll just go to the plugin section and uh, it's on the left tab at the bottom and we'll go to add new. So within this, we'll just basically search for the plugin and you'll see that this is a plugin here and uh, you can just double check by the actual name and the version is 1.71 and uh, simply go ahead and install make sure to check OK and activate the plugin and once activated it will also then give you the limit login attempts within your settings at the bottom and you'll have a few options which they may try and uh, you can keep the default options if you really want you can enhance a little bit more um, and uh, depending where you're logging in from may depend with that though if for example if um, you don't want to have strict limitations you can allow more but you'll be notified via email which will be linked into your general tab specifically for um, if someone is trying to actively get in, the issue will be is that you'll have to uh, cancel that really quickly. So having this is the best way to try to lock down your site. Of course, it will be important if you're in the dashboard and at the top, you'll see it, a way to actually update. So depending on your uh, framework um, or which service you may be using, um, a flow sites or a flow themes or another service, it will be important to make sure with your hosting or your web design uh, provider or designer or developer whether you won't have any incompatibility issues or functionality within the site with an update. I hope that helps and we'll keep you posted.